Hello. Hello. I'm starting like a whole minute early. Who am I? Ah, uh, that button. That's what I want to do. You know. Hey, Lapras. How's it going? I maybe should have like actually rearranged things before I started instead of getting focused on other things, but that's fine, that's fine. We can be a mess. We're good at it. I just have too much stuff. Too many art things to organize all the time. So as you can see by the pinned message, there is a uh, sticker giveaway going on because one, we hit our follower goal which is fantastic. And two, I got my first payout from Twitch this week. So we're gonna celebrate. Do I know what I'm doing with the giveaway? Not really, but we're gonna try and we'll see what happens. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Lapras. I know you've been having a bit of a rough time. If there's anything I can do to help, just let me know. And uh, the only person who's entered in the raffle now is me because I used my alt to make sure that it was working. So, other people should enter. <laughs> and if uh, my alt wins, we'll just redraw a winner. Um, I'm going to leave it going for all of stream and I'll close it at the end and draw a winner right before we end. And you don't have to be here to win. You just need to have your whispers open if you aren't here or most of you I know other places so I can find you. Um, but I need to be able to contact you to get info. And you will get to pick any sticker any single sticker from my shop. That's my plan. Um, is there anything else I need to say? I don't know. We're gonna work on a little painting today of a roasting marshmallow, which you can really only kind of see the sketch that I have put on this paper because I kept it pretty light. Um, this is for the streaming prompt smoke. And we're just gonna have some little smoke wispies coming off of that. And this is also the, this was the other one that I was planning for my color and focus of the month. Um, so I did stitched, which I showed you guys before, but we can show it again. Um, color of the month is burnt umber. Purple, you got it. Hi, how's it going? I think this this is our purple that we decided on. It looks really blue on camera, but I promise it's much more purple in person. Um, so this is number one for color and focus with burnt dumper, and this one's gonna be number two. Um, so yeah, exciting times. And there's also a sticker giveaway. Everybody should enter it. Reasonable time. Yeah, going to bed is difficult. Like way more difficult than anybody warned us about. So um, the pin message does have all the info, but I will keep stating it. Um, you just do exclamation point raffle to enter. It will be for any uh, single sticker in my shop. And free shipping and all that jazz. Anywhere in the world, I can ship you that. Easy peasy. Subs get an extra uh, entry as well. You need to be following, which most people here are, but. Um, and uh, you need to be willing to give me your shipping address. That's the other, the other thing. <laughs> Yeesh, Lapras. Hey, some people are just so focused on getting control, they forget that that's not necessarily a good place to be. That's so weird. I'm glad you were able to get back a little bit, because that could be really frustrating. Is this the same boss who gave you the shiny Guzzlord? Because that was impressive. <laughs> there you go. Glitter purple star for stars. Boop, boop. 
seems like that boss probably likes you a little bit if if they're willing to give you a uh, shiny guzzlord. I should tape this down. That's probably... Where did I set my tape? I literally just had it. I am such a disaster all the time and forever. Of course, stars. Thank you for redeeming me. It's literally underneath the part that I just set down. Good gracious. Okay. Um, I'm guessing this will probably take me the whole time. We'll see. Um, I, again, couldn't find a reference photo that I liked for this, so we're winging it. And we're going to see how well my brain does at remembering what a burnt marshmallow looks like. Um, I guess that can be our question of the day. If you're roasting a marshmallow, what kind of roaster are you? Are you a set on fire and then blow it out person? Are you an even golden brown? What's the vibes? I'm a golden brown person and I take approximately a million years to get it right. I do know that roasting marshmallows is a very America thing. I don't think other people really do it. Unless they've heard about it from the US. definitely have known a lot of burn the marshmallow people in my life yeah it i'm not sure exactly what like the full history of it is in the u.s but it definitely has become like a cultural phenomena kind of a thing where like we talk about it like it's normal and then everybody else is like what the fuck are you talking about <laughs> oh yeah that's a while for sure Well, it's nice when people who are above you definitely um, respect the amount of time you've put in instead of being a turd. Yeah, it's really easy to try and do a golden brown and then get impatient and bring it a little bit too close to the fire. But I also um, eat some s'mores wrong. I don't put chocolate on mine because I don't like the texture change. Yeah, right, Lapras? I don't... Like, the golden brown adds flavor to the marshmallow. And you get a nice little bit of texture, but it's not, like, overpowering to the vanilla flavor. That, that's my thinking. Yeah, S'mores is very American. And I think maybe that partially has to do with our chocolate being really shitty, if I'm being honest. Because like our chocolate will melt up against a little bit, like not all the way, up against a warm marshmallow. I don't know why that has a double A at the front. But we're not going to worry about it. It's just me going, ah, to get your attention. Ah, a single vinyl sticker. <laughs> That is such a mess. I will need to change that. Where did I put... Where did I put? That's the theme of every stream. Yeah, graham crackers are very specific, too. Yeah, exactly. Our chocolate is way different than the rest of the world, especially, like, Europe. Also need to add one of these days we can do a sketchbook tour and you can just see the absolute disaster that is that is my organization it started out nice and then it just kind of imploded this button there we go 
Yeah, so like Hershey's chocolate, like a plain Hershey's chocolate bar is the chocolate to put on a s'more. And it's really shitty chocolate. Like there's no way around it. It's not good chocolate. I have not picked brushes yet. Let's do that. I bought some new brushes and they haven't shipped yet, and I'm kind of annoyed about it. But one of the things that um, I would do instead of Hershey's chocolate is I would, ooh, I'm shaking the camera, calm down, sir. Um, is instead of doing like an actual chocolate bar chunk, I would do like canned chocolate frosting. And you spread that on the graham cracker yeah, I've heard the people who have had other chocolate taste Hershey's and it tastes like shit to them. And I, I don't think that they are being, like, metaphorical. I think that it, it tastes like shit. Judging by the people who I've seen react to them who have had actual chocolate, you know? We're just used to it. <laughs> um, I don't know what I want to do for the background for this one either. That's another another issue. I might do like, because I'll need to decide before we do the smoke. Um, I might want to do like a forest green color, blotchy, and then like some orange in the bottom, just to kind of uh, gesture at, hint at the like forest and campfire vibe. I love cream soda. A good cream soda is excellent. I love anything vanilla flavor, though. There's a, a local place here that um, brews their own cream soda. Love it. It's so good. I do think that... So, you can't really see the sketch. There's a stick. There's a marshmallow. It's droopy. Hey, Cassandora! Yeah, yeah. People don't don't like Hershey's if that's not what they grew up with. Like, I even grew up with it, and I'm not particularly fond of it. I won't lie. I generally don't get the plain Hershey's bars. And like I said, I don't even put chocolate on my s'mores for the most part. So... What, what qualifies as, like, the American things in the grocery store? Because I've heard Pop-Tarts is one. But there are so many flavors of that now. How do they even decide which flavor to give you? I'm going to do an underpainting of gray on this stick because I think it's going to look good. Yeah, yeah, good luck with that, Lapras. We'll see if I regret doing this. I might. And even though I'm not a marshmallow burner, that's what we're doing for this. It's gonna be a burnt marshmallow. I do want to make the tip of this darker, and I need to remember to do that because when you stick it like really good into the fire, it gets kind of charred, especially if you're a marshmallow burner. Mac and cheese, root beer. Yeah, that's fair. We have a lot of a lot of weird candies that you don't get other places. Although I guess that's true of everywhere. There's like specific candies that you can't get elsewhere. I did as one of my treats. Swiss Miss hot chocolate is good, especially the ones with the little freeze-dried marshmallows in them. I guess let's do an underpainting for the marshmallow over here, because those can, those colors can mellow together and it'll be fine. I think I'm just gonna do this. And that's a bit yellowy. Yeah, that's the good stuff. I um. 
have a specific hot chocolate brand that I always get because I think it's better and it's not Swiss Miss, but Swiss Miss is like the standard hot chocolate mix. I don't know that this is really the right color, but we can paint over it and fix it so it'll be fine. Um, I always get Land Lakes hot chocolate mix because um, they there's this like richer to me generally speaking again it's probably an American chocolate problem too where it just doesn't taste as good as it does other places but they do a uh, French vanilla hot chocolate mix and I always get that one. Oh, I love a Butterfinger it does get really stuck in your teeth though so I think I do want to do like a foresty green and then a little bit of like orange in the background. I'll let that dry and then we'll do a, a big washy background and then we can work on the focus of it. Oh, I should just send you some candy sometimes because you said you wanted to try candy corn, right stars? I could just send you some. I have the technology. <laughs> Pop-Tarts are candy. Pop-Tarts are candy. <laughs> it is the season to get it, unless you wanted to try one of the even uglier colored ones that they send out around Thanksgiving or Christmas. <laughs> it really is not, it's not super crazy. Hey, Grim. Hydrating. Stretching. Uh, something nice about myself. Let's see. Um, eh, I'm sure I had something. Yeah, there's, they make weird flavored ones too, because I guess they decided that it wasn't enough of an atrocity to have on just one holiday. We needed it year round. And to be clear, I am not a candy corn hater. I appreciate candy corn for what it is, which is sugar that I can put in my mouth. Um, <laughs> let's see something nice about myself I think I think that I'm cool like generally speaking I think I'm the kind of person that you want to have in your corner and I think that's very cool of me I was thinking about that the other day we're like if I'm behind you I'm behind you like 150% and you would be lucky to have me in your life so <laughs> You should. I would love to see everybody's photos of the American shelf in their grocery store. I would love that. I love seeing what becomes like the stereotypical thing. And yes, we have a, despite that god awful description, there is a giveaway going for any vinyl sticker from my shop. Um, we hit we hit some goals this week. So I hit my follower goal and I got my first payout from Twitch this week, which is very exciting. Um, so I'm, I'm doing a giveaway. You have to be following to enter and you have to be willing to give me your address. I'm happy to ship anywhere in the world, easy peasy, but you do need to uh, let me know where you live so that I can send you the sticker. That, that's kind of how it works. Um, and you can pick whichever stick you want, or I can pick for you. Um, sure, Grim, sure. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what else am I forgetting? Uh, subscribers get an extra ticket in the raffle. So your, your general follower will get one, and any subscribers will get two entries. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Oh, an American week. That's very interesting. Uh, <laughs> that's fair, Casadora. It is, like, not what you would call a good candy. I don't think, even candy corn lovers, I think, objectively can look at it and go, this is kind of a shit candy, even if I like it. But it is very aesthetic. And, um, I appreciate it for what it is, you know? It's, it's weird. 
It's a weird texture. It tastes a little bit like vanilla, but it mostly just tastes like very refined sugar. And I appreciate it for what it is. <laughs> I mean, so are the rest of us, Grim. We're all abominations before the eyes of man and God. And you know what? We're working it. Just like the candy corn. That's my official opinion. Okay, I think I can do washy background. Let's go. It's, yeah, it's not good. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I like it. And I still think that it's kind of disgusting. But, you know, it's worth a try for sure. It does have a very waxy texture. Especially the really cheap kind. Like the kind that you can get at the dollar store that my grandma always gave me for Halloween. Um, <laughs> but it's worth eating. I do think that the different shapes that they have that are the same kind of thing. But a little bit different. So like candy corn is candy corn it's shaped like little kernels of corn a little bit but they also make ones that are like um pumpkin shaped and those ones i think are a little better because you have more of the meat of the candy to the waxy covering so i think those are a little bit better if it's a flavor and a texture that you like which again it's kind of kind of suspect but yeah and it does it does very much have that like waxy coating candy feel to it because that's what they cover it in so there you go okay i did do finishing sentences that's a thing i should do um oh i broke a fingernail at some point today okay I did do a, uh, another painting yesterday that I talked to you guys about a little bit, so I have some more greens and stuff, wash style, sitting around if I decide that this needs like a way darker feel, which I don't know, maybe. There was something I thought about that I was going to talk on stream about. Okay, so. This is, again, probably an American-centric thing. But does anybody else remember those scented Crayola crayons that you could get, like, in the 90s specifically? Because they stopped doing my favorite smells after the 90s, I think. Um, but there were these, these Crayola-scented crayons. And they were just, like, basic colors. So there was, like, cherry for red and what have you. But then you have the issue of brown and black. And what are you going to make those smell like? And whoever was in charge of Crayola in the late 90s decided that the right answer for giving kids scented crayons was leather for black and uh, dirt for brown. And it should say something about me as a person that those were my two favorite ones in the crayon pack. I would steal those from other kids' crayon packs and keep them for myself and sniff them. Yes, dirt. It smelled delicious. To me, nobody else agreed. Wow, this uh, color bounce is way off, I am noticing. Um, those were my favorites. I loved the dirt and I loved the leather smells. And they got rid of those pretty fast because nobody but me liked them. Um, but I got some perfume samples from someplace. And one of them was described as like leather and smoke. And I was like, well, I'm, I'm drying smoke today. So let's try out the smoky one. It smells like the leather and dirt crayons. Truly. And I'm just so enthralled with it. And hi, Sky, I did see you, but I was, I was mid rant. <laughs> and I love it. Truly. Like, is this what I want to smell like all the time? Probably not. So I might not buy like a huge a huge barrel of this this perfume but it like slapped me full in the face with a memory of me being at a birthday party as a kid and nobody else talking to me because I was sitting in the corner sniffing these crayons like a little weirdo I miss them I don't think they make those colors anymore I mean do we need more is this this what we need what what's going on buddy Huh? I'm adjusting camera settings. That's what I'm rambling about now. What happens if I do auto? Ugh, nope. Denied. So 
like this is much greener than it's showing up on camera like it's actually green and I'm not sure why it's being so weird when everything else looks fine not sure you'll just you'll just have to live with a really muddy green when it's not actually that color. Also, Sky is here, and if you don't follow Sky, you should do it. Do it. Do it. And for the record, the um, individual commands that I've made for streamers are everybody is welcome to use them permissions. So if you are coming in and you have a custom command, you should feel free to use your own command. For the record. Um doing this more. I maybe should do like the foreground and then the background, but this just is easier on my brain. And I'll say again, there there's a giveaway for a sticker should do exclamation point raffle to enter. I'm gonna draw it at the end of stream. You don't have to be here. You just have to have DMs open so that so that I can slip into that inbox and, and get your address from you. And like, if you won, you could combine shipping and get other stuff if you wanted and then I'd pay for the shipping. Just a thought. I think I want to do some orangey on the bottom. It's kind of like, maybe I want to start with yellow and then work to orange. It's like a, a nod to the campfire. I really wish that this color would not be shitty. That would make me happy. Let's do this color. It's like, the yellow is showing up like super bright and that's fine. So why is the green being so weird? Huh? I have questions. Questions that demand answers. The orange looks fine. It's just this green that is not reading at all on camera. Strange. to do this probably would have been to use masking fluid on it but this will work just block in where our, our smoke lines are gonna go a little bit So brown. Why does it look so brown? It's 
gonna drive me bonkers. I probably want to slap some burnt umber in the background too. Um, let's do that. Don't look right on camera, and it's making me angry. Okay, I need to let that dry a bit before I do anything else, or the green is going to um, smudge into everything else where we don't want it. So, um, let's see, let's see. I could show you guys what the thing for today is I did post this on socials already but um, I used those acrylic pens that we uh, tested out on stream to do this pink I can do pink for sure um, the acrylic pens as we discussed are pretty shitty I got what I paid for which is fine and they'll work fine for stuff like this they, the nib is just very stiff um, so it kind of tore the paper up a little bit. Do you, do you like a hotter pink stars? Is that is that what you, you're vibing with? Because I do have like a very, very bright pink. Or I have, I think, a pale pastel kind of pink in here. Yeah. Or pale pink. That probably looks like nothing. Alrighty, you got it. Yeah, so that piece is uh, for a new blitz. I don't care. You guys can talk about whatever you want. We're all here to hang out. <laughs> Like, I won't lie, I have no clue what you guys are talking about, but as long as you're having fun, I think that's fine. <laughs> it's kind of like one of those, like, hangout parties where people break off into their own little clusters and talk about whatever. And that's part of what makes them so fun. Teeny tiny star. I also, at some point, am going to need to go take care of the fingernail that's half broken off because it's going to drive me bonkers. Hey Trish! Speaking of people who have their own commands. Hi! How you doing? Graham, 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 could you use exclamation point Trisha, please? Please? Or Trish. Either one works. Thank you, Cassandra. Better mod than my actual mod. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's Rainbow! Hi, Rainbow! Hi, everybody with Rainbow! Hi! Sheep that meep! Sheep that meep! Sheep that meep! Could you shout out, please, Grim? Well, I'm folding this teeny tiny origami star. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I was hanging out there a little bit ago, so... Did you get, did you get all your, your subs... You do, you can do exclamation point S-O and then the person and then you can do forward slash and then the name and then that does the up top one. 
please and thank you. Okay, and I need to mark that star is still another tiny star. All right, Rainbow does super cool art and has super cool stickers. And you guys have come in at a great time because I hit a goal this week. So we're doing a sticker giveaway from my shop. So if you wanna do exclamation point raffle, you could enter the giveaway and win a sticker of your choice from my shop. And that's gonna be open all stream. You don't have to be here to win, but you do have to be following me and subs get an extra ticket in the raffle. So exciting times because I reached uh, my follower goal this week. I think Rainbow was actually the one who uh, made me hit the goal. So <laughs> good times, good times. And thank you for the follow, Adam. Yeah. And I also got my first payout from Tumblr this week. So it's just, a, it's just a good week to be on Twitch. I said Tumblr, I mean Twitch. If Tumblr paid me, I probably wouldn't have to work again for the rest of my life because I've been on there since 2010. Uh, yeah, but anyway, welcome in. <laughs> I wish, I mean, they did try to do a thing where they were doing like subscription posts and that did not go great for them. I mean, they do Tumblr live now. If you wanted to sell your, your whole soul, you could do that and hang out with all of the pretty girl bots. Um, <laughs> I just have Tumblr on the brain constantly, I guess. But anyway, Rainbow was doing some co super cool art where uh, she draws her her subs once a month and was doing uh, the, 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 the brain, please, Libra art which is super fun and cool. If you wanna drop any of your links, Rainbow, you should feel free to do that because I also bought stickers from Rainbow's shop and I'm waiting for those to arrive. And so I can highly recommend those stickers already because they're cute and fun. So there you go. Um, Trish should also feel free to drop shop links. Any of my art friends can drop shop links. Support artists, it's important. And I'm just waiting for this background to dry before I continue, but this is, uh, I'm working on a Stream Inc. Uh, prompt for Smoke. I've been doing Stream Inc. Um, I think most of you already know me, but for those who don't, hi, I'm Katie. I uh, do art and I generally make myself a nuisance on the internet. I hang out on a lot of other artist streams, so you might have seen me around. Um, <laughs> And yeah, so I actually have a whole stack of stuff that I've done so just this month because October is art challenge month. So I've been playing around with a bunch of stuff. Let's see, let's see some good ones here. So this was Stellar, which was Stellar Sea Lion in front of a galaxy. So this is just watercolor. I do, um, my main medium has always been fiber but I actually have started doing a lot more watercolor and stuff like that. This one is Copic Marker. This is for the prompt Demonic. Yeah, I'm really pleased with how this one turned out. I was worried about it because it's like, it was a bit, I felt above my pay grade art wise, but I really nailed it. So I've just been like slapping through a bunch of stuff. We have a Lampent here. I am a Pokemon fan. Um, this was for lamp, so I did a lamp and lighting a gas lamp. Um, let's see, here's more watercolor. This one was for tea and peace prompts. Um, chaos we did um, on stream, and I did some acrylic uh, paint pulling, which I'd seen on Instagram. I didn't test it out, I just kind of guesstimated. And I liked the way it turned out. And Grim is the one who suggested a boost. So uh, there's that. I do live in Alaska, so moose are a general thing. This one is for clouds and possessed as a vague kind of night veil vale reference. All hail glue cloud. Do not pet the moose. That's a bad life choice. Uh, this one is for skeleton and sun, and I did gouache for this one. Um, but yeah, I do all sorts of stuff. This one was what we did last stream, Eggs Benedict. 
a la Katie. I'm really pleased with how this one turned out, actually. I can definitely tell that I have improved skill-wise. Let's see. And then this one was for stitched. Um, so I actually painted fabric patterns on watercolor paper and then cut them and stitched them together like you would a quilt block. So you can actually see the stitching. Yeah, I also do digital art and just to, I also have fun sometimes. Um, this is for today's prompt, which is Leggy. This is Gloopy Longlegs, who is in Oublet. And just, just a fancy little man. Look at him go. So yeah, I do all sorts of art all the time and generally am annoying. <laughs> but yeah, so that's that's what we're doing today is smoke, which I'm doing a smoking marshmallow. That's the plan. Yeah, I don't know. I, I tend to state that I'm being annoying when what I'm actually being is like really vocally supportive. <laughs> because that's that's just the vibe because you, you want to know a little secret you want to know a little secret i was bullied as a kid uh, and if you call yourself annoying before other people do then it doesn't count just just a little secret for you <laughs> if you insult yourself first then it's a joke and then they get that word taken away from them forever Pro tips that you have to unlearn as an adult and maybe never actually unlearn. <laughs> I have a random piece of paper over here and I don't know where it came from. Um, I'm going to fold a couple origami stars while we're waiting. Um, so I'm just waiting for this background to dry before I start doing the foreground because I just wanted to put something back there instead of it just being plain white. Um, and I have uh, channel point redeems where you can have me fold a little origami star that I put in the bucket here. And I just fold extras when I'm waiting for stuff to dry or whatever. It's just a good way to kill time and keep me busy because I don't, I'm not good at just sitting still and not doing anything. Um, <laughs> plus I have a bunch of origami star paper, so gotta work through some of it. <laughs> Good laugh, Chris. Sometimes you gotta do whatever you can to survive the bullying. I was definitely like a weird kid. And there's that is a Tumblr post or maybe a tweet of like, gotta pay $3,000 to get uh, autism or ADHD assessment and diagnosis, but Bethany in grade three could tell that I was a freak and bullied me for it. Like they can sniff it out in you. And I'm not diagnosed with anything, but I definitely have something weird going on in my brain. And I don't think that that's a, uh, a point of argument at all. I don't, I don't think that there's anything one wrong with that, but two, I think we, we all know, we all know. Yes, I did stars. Thank you very much. I got distracted by the raid. Thank you, Stars. Stars also streams, by the way, and does super cool paleo streams. And I think you're planning on doing Thursday, right, Stars? Yeah, brain is haunted for sure walking in there with a gun. What's going on? Brains haunted. What? Brains haunted. Um, so I just fold a star and put it in the bucket. And then once we fill the bucket, I am going to do some kind of giveaway. I haven't decided what kind of giveaway. I was thinking sticker, but I think that the pot is a little bit big for... Um, just a sticker. I think that's not fair to y'all. Um, so I'm thinking maybe, and I have these sitting next to me because I thought about it a little bit before stream, but I was thinking maybe doing one of my custom keychains or 
doing a uh, commission giveaway once once we fill fill the pot, so to speak. Um, and I will show you the keychains that I'm talking about in just a second. They are in my shop. Um, I have pride ones, and then I also have a custom listing available to get whatever colors you want. So I was thinking that might be fun to do. But we're a ways from, from filling it, so we'll be all right. We, we can talk about it as a community, see what you guys want. Because we could do just uh, multiple stickers once we get to the top, but it seems like the, yeah, that's a mood stars, or stars, grim. Too many purples. <laughs> okay, red star for Trish. Thank you, stars, for reminding me. <laughs> I did one of the bigger ones too. I have different sizes of the star paper, so. Um, but I have a whole bag of keychains sitting here. So I do embroidery and stuff like that too. So I have, let's see, let's get one of each. Um, so I have these two patterns that I made that I turned into keychains. So there's the shiny charm from Pokemon, and then there's the fossil from Animal Crossing. And I, um, I did a bunch of pride colors for these, but there's also custom colors. So the, the custom example that I had for the shiny charm, I actually gave to my brother because he's the first one I made these for. Um, so you can get custom colors that aren't, that aren't pride colors. Um, but I was thinking maybe once we get to the, the jar filled, we could do one of these. These are, $28 plus shipping in my shop so that feels a little bit more fair to the amount of time and effort it's going to take to fill the uh, the star bucket that I have chosen. I could also change it to a smaller star bucket and we could do stickers. Um, where's the custom one in here? So I I did a lot of these because I needed examples for photography <laughs> for the listings. Um, so if you buy one of these, you, you can get it shipped out, like, right away. I also do um, custom backings for these for an extra little bit. Um, but there is a freaking fossil one that I did as an example for the extra colors. But maybe I'll put it someplace else. Yes, Grim, tell me your idea. somewhere in here. They're just like, with Pride merch, I always want to include everybody's flag. I want to make sure that everybody's included, but that also means that it's like a nightmare to store. Yeah, that also involves finding a smaller bucket. Which, would, I could do, but also that's more effort than just using this thing that was sitting like right next to me for a month. Where did I put it? Maybe I put it someplace that isn't in this bag? Because I know what colors it is. It's in here somewhere, probably. Oh, there you go, Grim. I also, um, with the folded stars, I have been known to... There it is. Good lord. This was the custom one that I did. Um, so you can choose colors or you can do one of the pride ones. Um... But yeah, that, that's a thing that I do that, that's in the shop. Yeah, the problem with that, Grim, is that until I get my actual desk set up, I don't really have the space to have multiple jars going. Um, I'm already taking up the entirety of our coffee table until I get the downstairs set up. So, <laughs> well, I mean, things do require effort. That's true. But, yeah. I did mark that. I need to do these things. Uh, and things do require effort. It's an unfortunate fact of the world that we live in.
trying to fold this while not looking. That's gonna go great. I did all of those. Alright. Okay. But yeah, stuff and things. Um, let's see. I also have the one sketched out that we'll be working on on Friday. Um, because I combined another two prompts. Uh, I showed you guys that sketch last time, but I can show you again. Um, Friday and Saturday are Cursed and Folktale, or Folktale and Cursed, I don't remember which order it is, but um, I've been doing a fairy tale rewrite for Mumble Mumble years um, of the Six Swans, and have been thinking about what I want to do for the header art for that for a while too. Um, so we're going to make header art for it, because the swans are a folktale and they're swans because they're cursed. That's like a major plot point. So, <laughs> um, it is like an original grim fairy tale, but I decided to rewrite it to make it less misogynistic, which takes a fair amount of work. So that's this, um, and we'll, we'll work on that on Friday. Some of these I've been doing like on the day if I'm streaming and some of them I've been doing like ahead of time. I've been trying to stay a little bit ahead just so that if I have a bad day, I don't need to beat myself up about not having done something. But I did also combine a fair amount of prompts so it's not as, yeah, those are the brothers. And then there's a little baby one because they don't specify like the ages in the story, but I specified the ages. I have a list in my journal of everybody's name and age. <laughs> and pronouns because I like that but this is this is the little baby this is gonna be blurry because I don't have autofocus on but little baby she's a little baby that's Aiden who is who is named after one of my friends <laughs> yep yeah yeah exactly stars um except for this one I um I kind of added a character well changed a character so there's like the evil stepmother right um but in this, I've made it so that the stepmother isn't actually evil. Um, she's actually part of the curse itself and takes a, and like works with the sister to release the curse, the boys from the curse. Um, because part of the misogynistic aspect of the story that I don't particularly like is, you know, the evil stepmother who kills babies and things. And I just, was just like not feeling that. So the actual um, antagonist in my book is the stepmother's mother um, who basically tricked the king into having to marry her to keep from... Uh, basically, she trapped him in the forest and then... Um, made it so that she had to marry her daughter or he had to marry her daughter and neither of them really wanted it um so it's really i've changed it from being like oh the lone good girl who needs to fix everything to being about community and connection um and love learning how to be loved is is a big big portion of my story which uh I'm sure is shocking given what you know about me that I would put, you know, love and care and friendship into a story. <laughs> All right, have a good lurk, Grim. Thank you. So, yeah. But, um, so the, I, I mentioned this before, but the original fairy tale is like maybe 2,000 words long. I'm at 15,000 words and counting. Uh, <laughs> and I've been working on it on and off for a while. Uh, it started out as a uh, the rewrite for my D and D character. Weirdly enough, um, so one of the the only D and D character that I've ever played and probably will ever play because I found out that it wasn't really it wasn't really my vibe. Um, but I do love my character. Her name is Finn, and um, she is a gnome who wants to be an archivist. 
books. So she's very interested in books and specifically fairy tales. And that's because I played her as Arrow Ace. So I had her have this like fascination with fairy tales because it feels very formulaic for romance in a way that you can make sense, like she could make sense of, um, even though she didn't really understand um, love and romance the same way that other people in her community did. So um, my character was writing out the six swans the way her mother told it to her was the, the original starting point. And Finn was writing that for somebody else in the party who was also very into books as like a show of friendship. And that's how that started. But that was like 10,000 words ago. Um, <laughs> so she was actually like handwriting it. And my plan was to actually handwrite it and give it to the uh, character, but uh, the person playing that character kind of ghosted the campaign. Um, so I kind of half abandoned that, half turned it into a personal project and worked on it on and off for a bit. Um, I've been threatening saying that it's like almost done just a couple more months for like three years at this point. <laughs> Because sometimes it be like that. <laughs> there were also some some plot points in it that I put in that I found like difficult to deal with. Because um, like the antagonist mother uh, was difficult to deal with around my mom, so she offered to proofread it too and i don't think that she would have liked it had she lived long enough to <laughs> read it i don't think she would have liked the message i'm sending about mothers and daughters um i think she would have would have been insulted <laughs> okay i think that this is probably dry enough to continue on with now so let's do that um probably want to work on the stick first. It's going to end up with very similar colors uh, in the marshmallow and the stick, which is part of the point. Um, because I'm doing this also for um, my color and focus project, which is my current um, long-term Patreon project, uh, where I'm picking, well, I'm letting my patrons vote on a color I'm going to focus on in the month um, and make at least two art pieces centering that color. Uh, this, this month's color is Burnt Umber. Yeah, so that's going to be a big portion of this piece. And the other one I already finished, which was uh, Stitched, which is this one. Um, so there's burnt umber in all the portions of this one as well. And this is the first month that I've done the uh, color and focus. Which is kind of like, I didn't really think that through. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, that'll be a great time to start. Because, uh, you know, I'm finishing up. I'll end my, my other long-term project that I've been working on at at 24 pieces which is an exact two years and that'll be great it'll, it'll be such a nice number and then i was like oh shit october challenge <laughs> so i managed to to fold it in pretty well i think but uh i definitely had a moment where i was like damn katie you really did that to yourself that's cold <laughs> but sometimes it's it's just like that um, part of the reason that I did change how I was doing my, my long-term project stuff um, was because I started streaming. Um, and so I was having to do separate projects for Patreon on my own time and then doing different projects for streaming. And at a certain point, I just run out of time and brain power because you know what? Art takes work. <laughs> so I ended up very much... Uh, burning myself out for a little bit but we we adjusted we, we changed and we're getting back on track with this stuff I'm trying to figure out how i want this lighting to be because if this is the fire there's going to be like a very warm light on the bottom 
which is where I would naturally want to put shadows, so. Yeah, definitely. You've got so much going on, Trish, too. Like, you just moved. You're trying to set everything up there. You're driving back and forth across state lines regularly. Like, you, you got enough going on. You don't need to pressure yourself about this. I think I do want to use a little bit more of the more gray in here. But it's all about what you can manage and what you can't. And some things you can you can control and some things you can't. And I can control what I'm doing on various platforms, so I'll take that. <laughs> I do need to start like figuring out selling stuff in person up here too. Yeah, that's wild, Trish. <laughs> but you also, um, it was, it was, was it a shop in Olympia or was it a shop uh, in Oregon where you were being the focus for this month with all the framed stuff? Because I know there, there was one that, that you were doing, but I don't remember where exactly it was. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't sure. But I did know that that was that was on the menu too and you're applying for all sorts of stuff and you got enough going on, girl. <laughs> and just like life stuff too. I don't know how crazy detailed I want to make this. I probably want it to be a little bit looser. I've been having fun with that, but knowing me, I'm not actually going, I'm going to go like, yeah, let's go looser. And then I'm just going to keep messing with it. Oh, good. The Saturday market near where you are now is like intense, <laughs> but the farmer's markets, you got a lot more options for sure. Um, there was one that they used to do in um, the church that I went to growing up, and I can tell you the town and stuff, I just won't say it on stream. I'm not worried about you figuring out where I grew up. Um, that we had actually helped set up a little bit because it was in the church parking lot back when I was religious. <laughs> um, but I used to do pancake breakfasts there with the church kitchen. When I was like 11, I had to get up at like four in the morning <laughs> and go cook pancakes. I say had to. I volunteered. I enjoy making pancakes, but I don't enjoy eating them. But that one was a really nice little market that probably could have used some more art stuff. It was a lot of like uh, baked goods and beekeepers back then. Again, this was forever ago. I haven't lived in, in Oregon for over 10 years, so grain of salt. <laughs> some more watercolor for textures. I think that's a start. Yeah, there it's so big. Have you have you visited it at all? Cuz it's like wild huge. Like the just the like main food portion of it is bigger than our entire Saturday market here. It's absolutely wild. I used to um I used to do yoga with one of my, my friends who was my parents' friend, but also my friend who was older than me. So I used to do yoga every Saturday with, with her and the group. And then we'd go get food. So either like the Saturday market or going to like one of the bookstores around there back before uh, Borders had bought everything out. Um, but yeah, we used to go there and like spend four hours there and still not see everything. It's huge. <laughs> <laughs> always fun though and there's like because it's so big you get little like pockets of different vibes I always really liked the people who were underneath the bridge because there was um, I don't know if people from like the early 2000s remember that huge trend in like sand filled plushes kind of thing so there were like those frogs and geckos and stuff like that and like the shiny fabric that were filled with sand and super heavy there was somebody who did those there 
and I was super excited to buy one and the person who was selling them actually gave me a bigger one than what I paid for because they could see how excited I was. I still remember that. And it, it's been like, what, 15 years? <laughs> but I always liked the people under the bridge and it was so nice and cool under there too. There were a lot of artists in that area too, which is maybe part of why I liked it so much. Yeah, it's always, it's nice to, I don't remember the name of the artist or I'd like, say something but again I was I was a wee child <laughs> I was I was an annoying little butthole in high school <laughs> what color do I want to start with for the marshmallow probably want to do poker my way up yeah but it's the Saturday market is always fun yeah that's fair Trish I think I think the way that you do stuff with like including a little sticker or something is is a nice way to do that without like pushing them to a different frame. You know, it's a nice way to say I appreciate you and you buying my work, but I also understand that you're getting what you want. You know, you also have like super pretty like art business cards, which I think is big because you can like hang those up and stuff. I always put them, like tape them in the back of my journal whenever I order from you. Cause it's like, it's free art. Insert free real estate meme here. It's free art. <laughs> start there for the outside. Shading the inner hue part is going to be the difficult part here, I think. Because I am trying to make this marshmallow very clearly has been over the fire for a while, and it gets that kind of like droop, and this is going to sound really gross, and I'm going to say it this way anyway. It gets like the drooping stick hole in the back when you really get it nice and gooey. That's the key. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's nice. I think that's a good way to go about it. I actually, when I was playing Sticky Business, which is um, a great little indie game that you should try out if you haven't before, where you basically run your own sticker business. So you're printing stickers and sending them out uh, as orders and stuff. And one of the things I did in that, because you get a higher bonus if you include extras in your orders, um, I made specific little thank you stickers that I would include. Sleep well, stars. I'll see you. Thursday, maybe tomorrow in ice stream, actually. I'll see you sometime soon. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. But I'm thinking that I maybe should do that for my orders too. Have a specific thank you sticker that you can't order. You can only get through um, ordering, like as an extra kind of a thing. Cause that's what I did for Sticky Business. And I like that kind of vibe where there's like a limited edition special sticky to encourage people to order, you know? I haven't got the weight of the marshmallow down in the middle of this. Not that that's a big deal, but... <gasps> Cute! Trisha, I love that. Especially for you. That just tracks with your branding so well. But what I did for Sticky Business was I made little, like, actual stamp shapes that said thank you. But I was thinking that would be kind of cute to stick on, um, like envelopes and stuff when I, when I mail them out to. Yeah, I think that would be so cute, Trish. Super cute. Mm. I'm gonna decide how I want to shape this, and I'm not really coming to a good decision, I think. But also. I think that I need to let myself off the hook a little bit, and it's not that big a deal. 
One of the things uh, Elena says, which is another streamer that I watch that's gotten stuck in my head, is she said this like a month ago. It's not that serious girly pop. And that plays in my head nonstop every time I'm freaking out about some decision that really is not that serious girly pop. <laughs> it's so funny. I think I do need like a little bit of the brown edge over here. And that will help. But I do think like when you really t like burn, isn't it? It's one of the really good ones that I get so many weird things stuck in my head. I just very much like will latch onto a saying and it will play in my head. So like I, for instance, I for Scotland, um, says disaster for Scotland when something goes wrong in a game or he's having technical pro technical problems or whatever. And that has started playing in my head now. Is that accurate to me or my person? No. Do I still go, oh, disaster for Scotland when I drop the croissant on the floor? Yeah. <laughs> it's not that serious, girly pop is, is much more accurate <laughs> to my being. I do think that I want to add like some orange up where I'm going to have like the burnt portion because when you really, when you really, really burn the marshmallow, like burn it really bad, you get like the coal red underneath the burnt portions. Now I am not, I am not a marshmallow burner, but I have spent a lot of time with marshmallow burners. <laughs> and I know, I know what they do. I know the evils that they uh, portray, perpetuate, that's the word I want to use. But I want to have some good, good crispy burnt bits up here and have a better golden brown farther down. That's the plan. We were talking earlier in stream about what kind of uh, marshmallow toaster you are. I am the perfectly rotating for 30 minutes to get a golden brown marshmallow person. That's just how I function. I also, as I said at the beginning of the stream, I don't toast marshmallows correctly. Like I don't do s'mores correctly. I don't put chocolate on mine because I don't like the texture change. I would rather just eat the marshmallow on a graham cracker. That is not my greatest food sin, but it is one that I've been made fun of for mercilessly throughout my life. <laughs> I think, I think my greatest food sin involves hot dogs, if I'm being honest. Because I eat them cold right out of the bag. I don't eat them up. <laughs> Which again, was always fun at campfires because uh, you do, you know, you do your hot dogs and you do your s'mores and I don't eat either of those the way that you're supposed to. <laughs> Part of what makes me quirky. People say they want a manic pixie girl and then you eat the hot dog raw out of the fridge at two in the afternoon and suddenly they have an issue with you. Gosh.
do want to make sure that the tip of this stick is pretty charcoaly. Because the right way to do it is to burn the stick before you put your marshmallow on. Why is that the right way to do it? So that you can pretend that the stick you found on the ground doesn't have any more germs on it. I went, I did, I didn't do like tent camping a lot when I was a kid, but I did do, um, I did go to a summer camp a lot as a kid. It wasn't just a summer camp, but that's like the best descriptor. Um, so that people understand what I'm talking about. But we went to a specific camp in Oregon um, at least twice a year from when I was six months to when I moved away from Oregon, which was when I was 17. Um, so we did, we did lots of s'mores. We did. And I horrified everybody with, with my eating habits. <laughs> certain point you really get it down to like a science for how you want your marshmallow or at least I did I guess burners don't really need to to apply a technique or method you just need to stick it in the fire but as a golden brown person you definitely need to uh, figure out your process how fast do you turn it? Where on the fire do you put it? The trick is to wait until everybody else is done. Because that's when they stop paying attention to the fire and stop stoking up the flames to keep it warm. You get the nice embers. That's how you get your perfect golden brown. Make it new and shiny and make them watch me, make them watch me turn the power on. For the light, you that you paid yellow for. and all the skitchers that you saved for, all the nights you fell asleep to Just to kind of give that vibe of a fire beat. A coronation, a beheading from the funeral to the wedding. Do you think they care where the crown goes? Raspberry. Yes, it is. This is uh, for Stream Ink Prompt bleh, Mouth Words. Stream Ink Prompt Smoke. And my immediate thought for that was those people who burn the shit out of their marshmallows when they're doing s'mores. <laughs> also, I haven't said it in a little bit, so I'll say it again. There is a raffle going for a sticker giveaway because we hit some milestones this week, which is super cool. Um, and so if you want to use exclamation point raffle, you can enter a giveaway to get a, a vinyl sticker of your choice from my shop. You do have to be following and you do have to be willing to give me your shipping address. Thank you for the follow Mojo Jojo. That's so much fun to say. Um, yeah, see, I'm, I'm a golden brown person. So you do need to be following to enter the giveaway. Yep, and then you can enter just like that. And um, I'm gonna pull winner at the end of stream. Uh, as long as you have your DM open, DMs open, you don't need to be here to win. I will message you and we can talk about which sticker you want. Um, and subscribers do get an extra, an extra ticket in the raffle. Yeah, it does. It does take it does take some technique to get the golden brown the right way, and I totally understand not having the patience for doing that because I'm just in some things I am a very patient person, and in some things I am not. <laughs> Yes, 
Yeah. Like I do, I do get, I enjoy smoky flavors. I do, but um, not, not on the marshmallow. That I probably should have worked this more, but it's still wet instead of having these lines that are going to annoy me. Ooh, that's lovely. Yeah, I love, I love a fire. Hanging out at a campfire, like, to do anything is top tier. You unlock emotions that you did not know you were capable of at past midnight at a campfire. That's just how it works. At a certain point, suddenly you're dishing out your deepest traumas and healing from things you never knew that you need to heal from. <laughs> That's the power of a late night campfire. Because I definitely, gosh, there was one time, so I was mentioning earlier, let me start the story in a place that makes sense, um, that I went to a specific summer camp when I was growing up um, a lot when I was a kid. I also, um, counseled there once I got old enough to do that and there was one summer where I was counseling um, and me and one of the other camp counselors uh, stayed out on the beach to watch the fire burn down to make sure that nothing bad happened right so we were out there until like two in the morning probably and he was just playing um, guitar on the beach next to a campfire not gonna lie, I fell a little bit in love with him for no reason other than there was a campfire and a guitar there. Like, campfires just do things to your brain. <laughs> I would love to have a fire pit in my backyard, but I also think that I would never get anything else done in the summer. One of the problems with li living in Alaska is that in the summer we don't get like a lot of dark or like any dark at all at a certain point which um, would probably be better for my uh, tendencies to be a little bit insane around a campfire, but because <laughs> the darkness, without the darkness, it don't hit the same, but it definitely would take away some of the, the magic there too. I do have a nice backyard for it though. We have like, we don't have like a, a lawn backyard. We have a little forest back there of birch trees and moss and it's very lovely and I like it. We also get a lot of mushrooms back there or have the past couple summers when it's been super wet. Before I put the black on, because it is going to be charred up at the top and then there's going to be smoke coming off of it. That's, that's the point. Yeah, they're just, like, how long has it been since then? I would have been, like, 16. So it's been, it's been nearing, ooh, I don't want to say that. Oh, it's nearing 20 years since that night on the beach. I'm old. Um, and I still remember it so incredibly clearly. Like, it just... The ocean going and it's so quiet and got the acoustic guitar going just slaps man I did add some burnt umber which is the focus color for this month to the background not a lot, but enough to just kind of read as trees, which the colors for the background really aren't showing up on camera very well, which is frustrating me. It's a very nice foresty kind of green, but it shows up really brown on camera. Apparently, Shuffle is just going to play all of ACS at once, which I'm fine with. But I don't think it counts as Shuffle then. I think I've got the tones pretty good on this though. Head is in the right direction. All the nights you fell asleep without your gun. A coronation, a beheading from the funeral to the 
Yeah, definitely fire safety is a big deal. Definitely don't want to be the, the reason something goes up. Especially with how many heat waves the U.S. has, has been having lately. I want to make that spot just kind of look like you broke a, a stick off of it. I tink. Why is it that I never get emails about people hiring me except for when I'm streaming? It's so weird how consistent it is. Do you think that I'm gonna go back and do some colored pencil over the stick just to give it a bit of a different texture from everything else? I might end up adding a little bit of that to the marshmallow too. I haven't decided fully. We want laughter, we want pain. Everyone will know our name. Did you know that no two listeners are the same? Ooh. Our background, our background, Ooh. mouth, please. Our backyard is pretty like Ooh. hilly. So it's like tilted, which probably would be difficult to set up a, a burn pit for unless we dug properly into the hill, which seems like a lot of effort to me. It might be worth it in the long run, but also I have other things to do. <laughs> I'm busy. I need to do some dark next stick here. I do think that because I've chosen a very similar color palette for the marshmallow and the stick that um, differentiating them is going to be a little, a little difficult. But I think I can do it. I believe in myself. Alright, thank you Lapras and have a good one. I'll see you around, I'm sure. I think we got a good, a good crispy brown. So this is about where I would have my marshmallow before I pulled it off the fire. Um, now we're gonna burn the shit out of it. <laughs> I need to let the the color that we're on dry a little bit. I also need to add some shading to this this little gooey bit up here. I think give it a little bit more texture. Because when you get it really nice and gooey, it slides down the stick. And if you haven't thought ahead and gotten a stick with a nubbin on it, then sometimes it slides down and it burns your hands. Um, no, I don't know this from experience. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh. 
I've been live for an hour and a half. Okay. Some days I'm like checking that clock all the time, and some days I'm just like, oh, time has passed? Who knew? Okay, I am gonna let this dry and I'm gonna take a really quick break. Um, I'm gonna run some ads. So if you don't wanna see the ads, look away, mute your tab, do whatever you need to do to escape the capitalism. I understand, I'm gonna earn an extra 0 .003 cents for this stream. Um, <laughs> but I'll just run about a minute and a half and then I'll be back. I just run to the bathroom, do a quick stretch and you should do that too if you need to. So I will be right back and then we will work on this some more. Hmm. Trying 
to decide what I want to do next. I think the answer is make this look more like it was just broken. Which involves lightening it up a bit. things about the black that I have on my palette is that it granulates pretty intensely which means it's really good for doing kind of like a charcoal texture without having to put as much work into it which is great when you're trying to do that and not so great when you're trying to do other stuff but for this it'll be great there um one of the dream journals that I did which was one of my the, the previous long-term project I was doing for Patreon um, was I, I used that to do kind of like a hellish coal kind of burning vibe for one of the things I was doing. I'll drag that out in a second to show you. But it's a really interesting thing you can do with specifically this black. It doesn't work with other blacks. Um, is you can paint like a really bright color underneath and then just do a big wash of this black on top and it'll split to show the brighter color underneath in a way that's really interesting. I do need to figure out how exactly I want to do the smoke since that is kind of an essential point of this piece. for like the steam that I did for well, the steam that I generally do for like uh, the tea piece or one of like on one of my sticker sheets do I have that one next to me I don't um, it's kind of just like wavy lines but I'm not sure that that's going to read as well with the uh the colored background. I do want to also add some red in here in between the uh, black, big black spots because when you really roast the hell out of a marshmallow, and by roast I mean set that fucker on fire, you end up with kind of like a uh, coal looking thing where you still have like the bright red underneath the uh, blackened exterior. And I think that will read really well and look neat, which is the point of art a lot of times. Let's just look neat. Let's see if I can dig out one of these dream journals that I was talking about. Because I do actually have them all in the right spot now maybe maybe I organized them correctly um there it is it's still bagged um kind of like this I also did it up here to kind of uh indicate that that's where this was headed um but it does a really interesting uh granulation around it 
to uh, make it look kind of charcoaly. Uh, which one was this? Number 22. Put it back in order vaguely. Oh, I was like, I'm missing one. That's because I sold it, dum dum. <laughs> like, why are these not in order? They are in order. You just sold one. Utterly. I also did a couple digital ones for that, and it throws off the numbering system. Because I'm, I very much am like an over organizer because my brain is a nightmare zone. And if I don't organize everything else paper wise, I will lose it. So I end up going maybe a little bit too hard with the organization of the original art. Because if I lose one of those, that uh, that's going to cause some problems. I do think I want to do a little bit more darker edge. Deepen up these areas a bit. Also really excited to uh, put up the piece for streaming tomorrow, which is Nightmare, because I definitely used one of the uh, dream journals that I didn't get around to doing for the actual dream journal project as inspo for that. I did finish it yesterday, and I can show you in a sec. It's sitting off screen, but uh, pretty pleased with it, all things considered. I did simplify the actual image versus what the dream actually was, which I wouldn't have done if I had done it for a dream journal, which is maybe part of why I never picked that one was because it was feeling a bit overwhelming because there was like a lot. Um, but it's got a cryptid. It does not photograph well <laughs> because it's just really dark. I did it on black paper. And black paper, I don't use a super huge amount, but sometimes you just something to start out really dark and stay dark and in those instances it is king I feel like this is still feeling a bit flat to me I think I need to work on the inside of the marshmallow but Probably not going to show up very well on camera. Yeah, you can't you can't see anything happening there, can you? <laughs> uh, yeah, like I said, it doesn't photograph great. Um, you'll see a better photo of it tomorrow. There's a little cryptic guy up here that, again, you can't really see. <laughs> You're looking through like the dream was I was about to let a dog out. Uh, actually, three dogs into the yard like I just let them out and then they were staring back at me through a patio door while there was like this cryptid thing in the background that was gonna come and get me um, I didn't add the dogs to it I simplified it because I only have so much time um, especially during art challenge month but it turned out pretty well other than the fact that you can't 
can't see it for shit. <laughs> Instead of using the uh, gray is going to do better for that. Maybe not quite that brown, though. I still haven't added highlights to it either. That's going to be a big part of it. That's better. Is anybody else having problems viewing stream? Apparently somebody's having some issues. Twitch status says it's fine. I'm guessing that isn't a general issue.
time to make a decision about the smoke. I do think that I want to get that wet um, to add lines in. And I do think I'm going to do dark colors for it. Um, normally when I do smoke or steam, I'll do like a bright color, but I don't think that's going to read super well with this palette. Um, now, here comes the music. I think I probably want to do just like a warm gray. Get that started. Let's see how I feel about that. So I can always darken it up if I don't like it.
probably loud. Apologies. Okay. What else do I want to do with this? I do think that I want to go back through with some colored pencil on top of the stick at some point. But first, I think I will do just some light brushy brushes with this thin brush to start with some texture and then maybe I'll like that well enough. I do think I also need to deepen up the shadow where it goes into the marshmallow. Just giving it a little bit of texture I think will, will help. Maybe I'm going to like this well enough that I don't want to do colored pencil. So our light has changed and the camera is once again super dark, which is annoying to me. That'll be better. also the problem with having a back a black background for the paintings is that it ends up looking pretty dark.
colored pencil and smoke. Because I want to add some white back in there. Um, and after that, I'm not sure where I'm headed with this. I still feel like it's not done. I'm also not entirely sure where to go with it next. better with the framing on this one. I think I should have had the marshmallow down farther down to start so that more of the focus could have been on the smoke, but that is not something to fix at this juncture, so <laughs> I think that's just one we have to suck up and bear and then maybe try to do this piece another time if I feel like it, which I probably won't if I'm being honest with myself. I've got too many other things to do. Yeah, I'm not overly pleased with this one. Maybe I'll feel better about it once I'm not staring at it for a bit. Yeah, I think I'm going to call that done. Because I'm not sure what else to do with it. And I'm kind of over it, not going to lie. <laughs> I 
As much as I'm enjoying doing the uh, streaming thing, I uh, definitely do get fit art fatigue near the end of the day. Um, I was considering starting another project well this morning, like before I started streaming, and I was like, eh, that's not a good idea, Katie. You're going to wear yourself out, and then you're going to have to stream, <laughs> and you're going to have to do the arts, and you aren't going to want to, and it's going to be awful. <laughs> Hey lady, how's it going? You wanna know something crazy, lady, actually? Um, one of the art pieces that I'm doing is for that stupid six swans thing I started for a campaign. <laughs> I decided to do one of the art prompts as the six swans header for the story that I still haven't freaking finished. <laughs> that's that's the next one. <laughs> The thing that keeps haunting my dreams. It's only like 15,000 words. It's fine. Finish it one day. How are you doing though? This is probably dry enough that I can peel it up and it'll be fine. I did do the heavier paper just because that's what I already had cut. Yeah, lots of holidays. <laughs> I, uh, I got a new planner specifically to keep track of like quote unquote business stuff. So all the art business things and specifically like my business to do list and all that kind of stuff because putting it in my personal journal was like making me insane. Um, and one of the things that you can do because it's like a custom planner company is you can add Jewish holidays and then like US holidays, which those things should be separate. but. And yeah, just looking at how much y'all have going on right now, it's like a lot. It makes me tired and I don't even do holidays. <laughs> Alright, I should sign this probably. That's the thing that artists do. I, I guess, I look organized on paper, just don't look inside my brain. <laughs> Just got a bunch of weasels in a trench coat. Today's date is the 17th, which I should remember, but I don't. planner out here today. I don't know. I don't know. I have a screenshot of the thing though. My brain has gone offline. Oh lady, I have a um, raffle going for a sticker. There's a giveaway. So if you want a sticker, you should do exclamation point raffle and you can choose a sticker from my shop if you win. Yes, the 19th. Okay, I was right. that this one does not fall into the category as well as it had been doing because I didn't center the smoke as much. As I probably should have. But I also resketched this one like 30 times and finally I just decided that I wasn't going to erase it again. So 
yeah. Oof. Yep, pop it. Yeah. And I'll probably pull the winner in a couple minutes. So I'm thinking I'm going to end soon, just because I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired. I should probably get started on this one. You know what? I don't know how to spell anything, so. But I think um, we'll wait and do this on Friday. Because it's for Friday and Saturday's prompt. So I'll probably just do that then. It's going to be a relatively simple. I'm probably going to do gouache for this one and do relatively simple colors versus like intense shading and stuff. Um, and then go over it with an ink pen, like a fountain pen. Um, for the vibes and no other reason. But yeah. Okay, I'm going to call it. Here's the last chance to enter the giveaway. If you're listening, enter the giveaway. Enter it if you want to. If you don't, that's okay too. Live your life. I'm not your mom. But I will be closing it in like a minute. And I'm going to leave some extra time open so that everybody who's on mobile can hear that and have a chance to say it because I know how bad the delay is. <laughs> But a bitch is tired. I'm, I'm feeling near the end of the month. I'm feeling it. <laughs> I am on track to finish the actual like streaming for the whole month, but uh, I am flagging a bit. I do have one coming up that I combined prompts for and I'm like really nervioso about it. It's another dream that I didn't do for the dream journal because it seemed too complicated and I'm not sure I'm going to be able to manage it, honestly. I may, like I want to do something for those, but I may decide to do something else um, for Puppet and Reflection, which is also near the end of the month. Because we, we are very close to the end of this. <laughs> so uh, 20 and 21 is the Six Swans guy. And then I've combined 22 and 23. 24, I still don't know what the fuck I'm doing for it, but we'll figure it out. Um, but yeah. The one for 28 and 29, I'm... Which is Puppet and Reflection, I'm a little scared about. But maybe I just need to go for it. Or I could just do something else. I could make it less difficult on myself. Okay, I'm going to close the giveaway and I'm going to pick a winner. This button. Giveaway closed. Listen to me? No. Yeah. It's just so the the idea for that one is well the idea you want to actually like listen to me and close the entries or are you just not going to do that Okay Please cuz it won't let me pick a winner unless I close it and it won't close That's fun for me and see if you behave yourself but the so the dream that I had was like there was this carousel and it was specifically a carousel that was uh, a place that I went when I was a kid and there was this like creepy puppet on it except the um, carousel was um, okay I just needed to refresh it I guess um, but the carousel was facing a mirror and the puppet you could see in the mirror wasn't actually the puppet like it was just a void entity and while I do think that that's cool and it would look good if I could manage it doing a carousel and like a bunch of super ornate stuff like I had in the dream is gonna be like a lot 
I'm not sure I'm capable of that at this precise moment in my life. Okay, I'm about to pick a winner. Let's go. It's stars! All right, I know stars went to bed, so I'll message her later, but you know what? I'm feeling generous, so I'm gonna pick another winner just because I can. Adam! I know how to message Adam. All right, you don't need to speak up in chat at the moment because I know some of you have wandered off to do other things, but I will um, message them. Easy peasy to find both of those, which makes my life great. And I love that my alt didn't get picked. So the way that I tested this was I used my, uh, like to make sure that the entries were getting entered properly was I used my alt Twitch account. So I'm really glad I didn't pick my alt. <laughs> that would have been funny. Thanks for sticking around, Catherine. I'm sorry you didn't win this one, but I'm sure I'll do another one soon. Now that I know that it works, I do need to fix the, uh, I should also unpin this message. Um, the entry thingy bopper. Unpin, please, and thank you. And there we go. My poor laptop. She's working so hard. Okay. Uh, I think I'm going to sit here and fold some more origami stars just because I can. Um, and ladies here, and I haven't talked to lady in a while. So, yeah, it's, it is very complex. So maybe I'll simplify it a little bit. Oh, yeah, you came from Rainbow. That's great. I love Rainbow. I actually just ordered some stickers from Rainbow Shop, and I'm so pumped for them to show up. Rainbow's super talented and cool. Also, her eyeliner also always looks amazing. I was saying something and now I don't remember what I was saying. Not that it matters. Like I said, brain offline. Which is fine. It's nearing the end of the day here. I woke up early. I got a lot done in the morning. yeah there's there's a lot of things going on and i did simplify some of the ones that i did so uh, the one for tomorrow which doesn't show up on camera i already tried um because it's just like really dark so it doesn't show up very well um is nightmare and was another dream that i had which i removed some of the elements of just because i was like i don't have the brain power to finish it this way um so maybe I'll figure out a way to simplify it a little bit. I'll need to think on it. I did finally decide what I'm gonna do for pattern, which is also gonna be like a really emotional one. So that will be difficult in its own way, but it's winter in Alaska now, pretty much. The light is going away. So that seasonal affective disorder is gonna make me uh, want to sit in my sad emotions anyway. So I think fo focusing that onto something productive is, is a good way to go about my life. <laughs> As for, for pattern, I know a lot of people are just doing like a repeating pattern, which is totally fine. I've been trying to think about things a little bit sideways just because I'm like that um, so I considered um, putting out like a sewing pattern um, and then I realized that I have no time to come up with a sewing pattern right now um, nor do I have the space to do so properly um, so I think I'm gonna do something about um, I guess I guess I would call it intergenerational trauma and alcoholism and breaking that pattern, which is a subject that is very close to my heart. Um, some of you are new here, so for those who don't know, my mom passed away because of her alcoholism at the start of this year. So I've been just kind of dealing with that this whole year. And the thing about alcoholism, especially when it gets to that point, is that you've been dealing with it for a long time. So you don't, 
And because it's so constant, you don't really get a chance to heal from it in the moment because you keep getting re-hurt. Um, so I'm still working through a lot of that. And I think that that would be a healthy way to do it, even though it's not like a fun topic to talk about. I think that uh, I definitely work through a lot of emotions in my art. And that's definitely a healthier way to work through it than I have done in the past. <laughs> so I'll take it. But that one I will probably won't work on on stream. I do think that that prompt is on a stream day, though. I have them underlined for stream days in my journal. Um, here, well, my sketchbook. Divinity is the last one. For that one, I'm going to do, um, or it's divine, and I'm going to do divinity candy. I decided on that, kind of like a, a more mellow one, really, because divinity candy is not, I don't know, super complex or fancy or anything. But it is something that reminds me of my childhood, too, in like a good way. Um, I did do a uh, saltwater taffy one uh, for my dream journal because I was dreaming about this specific place that I went to growing up on the Oregon coast. And there's this specific candy shop that um, always had the best saltwater taffy. And they also sold seafoam and divinity, um, which is kind of a fluffy candy that you have to have like the right amount of moisture in the air, like the right, right amount of humidity in the area and stuff like that for it to actually fluff up and work properly. And even though I preferred the sea foam, which is similar, but a little bit different, um, I always remember their divinity too. So I thought that would be just kind of like a cute way to come at the prompt a little bit sideways. That one will be fun. But there are a few coming up where I'm just like not as sure about what I'm doing as I have been for some of the other prompts. So like ramen chop I'm having trouble with. Um, I'm still not entirely sure what I want to do. If I had more time, I would like to do like a 3D embroidery for that. But I don't have that kind of time. <laughs> so, and I did do I did start mainly as a fiber artist, um, and I did do one fiber project. So um, one of the prompts is eyes, and I did one eye, and it's almost done, but I did like a gigantic throw pillow, crochet throw pillow that's an eyeball, and it's glow in the dark. Um, I need to get some more stuffing for that because the one bag of polyfill that I bought was definitely not enough to fill the eye pillow. So uh, that's nearing done. And I wanted to do at least one thing that was really fiber art. Since that is uh, what I'm actually trained in. The rest of this stuff I'm mostly self-taught. I did do, for Stitched, I did do something kind of fiber artsy. It's mixed media, but I sewed some watercolor paper together, which I showed at the beginning of the stream, but I can show again, because it's cool. So I did, um, I painted fabric patterns on watercolor paper and then stitched it together. So I cut the paper and like you would fabric and then sewed it together like you would for a regular quilt block. Um, and this quilt block pattern is called Bear's Paw, which is one that I really liked when I was a kid. So yeah, gotta work that fiber arts in some ways. Okay, I think I'm gonna finish this star. Then I think I'm going to find somebody to raid, which my usual raid target for today is not streaming. So I will need to poke around and see who I can find. Then I will 
Taco Message sticker winners. Another plague doctor. See some more lives of P, lies of P, something about P. forever for me to do because my poor laptop is working so so hard for us is a bit of a uh, change in tone, but it is interesting at least. And Plague Doctor is cool. Oh, it looks like they're also trying to hit 50 followers, which they only need six more people to do, says their, uh, their uh, stream title. So let's go hang out there. I'm going to switch to my ending screen fast. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for being here. It's been it's been a big week for Twitch. Um, I got my first payout. We hit our first follower goal. It's been cool and awesome, and I'm so grateful for everybody who comes out and hangs out, does support, just chills and vibes, people who chat, whatever. I'm so grateful that anybody decides to spend their time with me. So thank you very much for being here. Um, and I'll be live again on Friday, Friday morning, uh, well, Friday morning in Alaska, which means afternoon for most other places, um, 1030 Alaska time, which is 1130 Pacific time. Uh, so I'll be live working on more, more watercolor art and hanging out. So great to see you all. Um, thanks for being here. Remember you're loved. Be nice to yourselves, be kind to yourselves and take care of yourselves. And if it's difficult to do that for yourself, please do it for me because I think you're cool and I think you deserve nice things and that includes from yourself. So we're gonna go bother Plague Doctor who is very nice and also funny. So it will be super fun. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. You know, you know what would help? If I actually started the raid before I said goodbye. <laughs> it's that kind of day. It's that kind of day. Let me see if I can actually spell at all. Generally the answer is no, but here we go. No, that's the wrong name. It really helps that I'm typing and my computer is so slow that I can't actually see what I'm typing for like a whole minute. There we go. Is that right? 
Yes. Okay. Sorry about that little blip. I promise I know what I'm doing sometimes. Okay. Thanks again. Bye.